Hello guys, I am going to discuss about Spring Cloud Kubernetes Discovery Client in this example. So in the last video we have covered like how to build and deploy the Spring Cloud with the Mongo database in the Kubernetes cluster. So I am going to take that same example here as a product service. So I have added like few dependencies related to this Kubernetes that is Spring Cloud Starter Kubernetes all, Spring Cloud Kubernetes Discovery and I have added one depend one annotation that is enable discovery client so apart from these two changes everything is same as the previous example so if you are not familiar with how to build the spring cloud with the mongo database so please go through my previous video so i have added that in this description link okay in this video description link so this service as a product service i am taking as a product service and i am going to call this product service inside this cart service okay by using the fan client so this product service will return the some response related to this product like id product id and description and price okay so i am going to add this information inside this cart so here also in the palm.xml in my cart service so i have added like few dependencies related to cloud and few dependencies related to spring cloud kubernetes okay so that is like spring cloud kubernetes discovery and spring cloud starter kubernetes config and i'm using fan right so i have added open fan here and ribbon so netflix ribbon so these are the dependencies i have added in this palm.xml and so so this is the entity class so my cart class which will have like data related to product and so we have controller here so in the controller i have a endpoint so that endpoint will get the data from product and i am adding to my cart okay so before that we need to add our client class here so that client uh, that client class will have like all the information related to this product service so i am using here fan client okay so so like we need to write the interface here okay so that interface will have like service related endpoints so that is public so list of products so product list okay product so get product okay and So this is so get mapping so which will have like endpoint name is find all products and so this is a fan client so we need to add fan client annotation okay so we need to add the service name so our service name is so our product service service name we will have in the application dot ml file so i will show you guys so this is our application name so so this is a service name of product service i'm going to add inside this fan client annotation okay so that's it so this client proxy is ready now so i'm going to call this service inside our controller okay so controller okay this is okay so i am going to auto wide this and by using this proxy i will get 
all the product information inside our card service controller and so I am looping the all the data and I am adding to my cart and finally I am returning my cart here okay that's it guys and after that we need to add few annotations to my main class uh, yeah so before that we need to add so ribbon configuration so the ribbon configuration will have like uh, or data related to that service information right so basically this uh, ribbon a uh, spring cloud kubernetes uh, allows the integrate the kubernetes discovery with the spring boot application by providing the implementation uh, of Kuba, kubernetes discovery client okay uh, here we are taking the advantage of built-in integration with the ribbon client for communication directly to the parts so without calling the kubernetes service we are uh, directly communicating with parts okay so that's what we are doing here and what i'm doing here is i'm just added one method that is ribbon servers list so by using the discovery client i am getting the information related to that product service instances and the names and the server names and the host and the port numbers i am just returning that servers information okay so i'm just auto config auto configuring here and so i am going to add that information here so that is enable um, not enable i think so so ribbon ribbon clients uh, okay so default configuration is our class name is ribbon configuration guys so one ribbon configuration dot class okay and okay i need to add one more annotation that is auto configure after okay so this uh, auto configure after and we have like two annotations like auto configure after and auto configure before annotations uh, if our configuration needs to be applied in a specific order then we have to add this annotations right so so if you're not familiar with this so you can just go through the basics of this auto configure after and before annotations you will get a one idea okay so so this is the ribbon clients information that i have added here and this is the product service proxy so i have added this fan client and inside the controller so i have adding this product information okay and i think that's it guys so what i'm going to do is so i'm going to build the docker image first and after that i'm going to create the service objects okay in the and the inside this deployment that ml file so i have provided service and the deployment for this kubernetes cluster so simple only so if you're not familiar with this so you can just go through my video so the basic video so we'll have like a good idea so this is the docker file and the application that ml file i have added so i have added like uh, the application name and so jackson serialization in and output is equal to this is to format the json so i have added this and the server port number 8090 okay 
and these are the actuator endpoints related properties so that's it guys so let me open the console so docker images okay then docker build so I'm going to create the docker image for this so I have defined this image name so this name should be matched with our image name okay so let me paste here so it will take like a couple of seconds so once this image is created now I'm going to create the uh, this deployment and service object so that's it guys so yeah deployment at ml file also is located in the same path so yeah so i'm not going to use the rest template here so i'm going to use the so fan client and the ribbon client so so most of the real time applications will is the, will use the fan client so instead of the rest template so if you have like any uh, doubts on any difficulties to implement this example so please let me know in the comment section so i will try to help you guys and also like i am going to add this in the github repository and i will provide that re repository link in this description video description okay so you can get it this example and try to implement in your system so if you find any difficulties so please let me know okay so in the comment section so i will try to help you and i will try to respond to your questions okay so it's created so so cube cut in so it will take like a couple of seconds guys so in the meantime so let me check so this is this is our product service so it is returning product response okay and so so i'm going to get the same information so while i'm trying to add to this my card so our endpoint is so let me check the endpoint here so our endpoint is my card so my card product id and gets created cube cut in get parts okay cube cut in let me check the logs guys so whether it has been successfully started or it's thrown the error so still it is in progress it will take couple of seconds it won't take much time guys so let me check the services quick till down services so this is our card service so yeah which will run on 30082 okay so mapped from 8092 to 30082 so let me open another tab let me copy this guys let's paste here so 30082 so my cart and the product id is 123 okay so now see here we got the data so we got the data from product service to my cart so which is added successfully to my cart okay so this is how like this will work guys so yeah let me add one more product information to get three three right, 
so the second product also is successfully added so this product ID is 33 right so let me add this 33 see here so it's added so it's working successfully guys so I'm going to add this in github repository so try to get this and try to implement in our system so please let me know in the comment sections if you find like any difficulty so i hope like you guys are enjoyed my video so if you like this video so please do like and subscribe my channel thanks thanks for watching bye